Hello everyone, welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Jocelyn Davis hanging out in the studio and today I am joined by two of the stars of an upcoming movie called Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. It is Garrett Ryan right here. And next guess. to him is Paris Mosteller. Thank you guys for joining us today. It's so fun to have two people from the movie here at the same time. Yeah, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little reunion for yeah. you guys, yeah. right? Definitely. How long ago did you guys shoot the movie? Has it been like a year? Or? Well, we started it last August, the okay. August of last okay. um, summer, and we finished it up in like last October, so yeah. It's crazy, and time flies. Time Premieres flies, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, isn't it crazy? So let's mm -hmm. start with talking about the movie. Okay. What would you guys tell someone who's not familiar with the book, because it's actually based on a series of books, yeah. what would you kind of tell us it's about? Um, um, the movie's about me, Jordana, and Jordana's friends. Okay. Me. And Rocky. Right. And Amy and Frank. Um, trying to have the way not low summer ever, but then her parents go out of town, and then her friends. Yeah, like her friends go, go away to exotic yeah. places. Okay. And, except Frank, and so Jordana still has to achieve the best summer ever with Frank while well, all of her best friends are gone. Okay, so. I see. And so do you play one of her best friends? I play Jordana Beatty, Judy Moody, her okay. best friend. I see. And what's your character's name? My character's name is Rocky. I'm just this really cool kind of neighborhood kid. And um, I'm really into the circus. Like, my whole family is total circusy. I mean, like, magic tricks and acrobatics, and it's really cool. Oh, my gosh. And what about you, Paris? Your character's name is Stink? Mm -hmm. So I have to know, you know, you think of stink, you kind of think of smelly. Is that incorporated into your character at all, or? Um, no it isn't. What's stink like? How would you t describe him to people? Someone who gets away with a lot of stuff. Oh, I see. Funny yeah. adventure, like likes to go on a lot of adventures. That's what the whole movie is, kind yeah. of like adventurous. So, so like, what kind of adventures do we see in the movie? Can you tell us about one? Um, well, I go to circus camp, yeah. and um, at the end there's a huge circus scene with, I mean, elephants and acrobatics and ponies, and it's cool. And um, Amy Mamie, she goes away to Borneo. So, oh my yeah, gosh. it's like this exotic island, so. That is so cool. So were there a lot of live animals on the set and that kind of stuff, uh. or? There was a possum that was live. Was it yeah. part of the movie oh. or just yes, frolicking around? Yes, part of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was actually a toad. In like three scenes, I got to hold a toad, a live toad. It was so much fun. Not gross, not slimy. Not gross, no, not slimy at all. Sticky, but not slimy. Oh my goodness, so Paris, what would you say was your favorite part of working on this movie? My favorite, like scene? Mm-hmm, yeah. My favorite scene was when Judy got a letter from Rocky, and here's how I read it. Dear Judy, how are you? I am fine. <laughs> he was reading it like pretending to be my voice. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And of course, there's so many young people in the cast. I'm sure that there was a lot of silly antics going on on oh set. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What was it like behind the scenes, like that we won't see? Behind when we go to the, the scenes, there must uh. have been a billion pranks going on behind oh, the scenes. Oh yeah. I got pranked. I have my suspicions who did it, but people came to my dressing room and silly string my whole dressing room. Oh silly my string goodness. just everywhere. Oh, that so. is so crazy. And since this is based on a series of books, I think it would be so awesome if there was another movie. Is that something that you guys would like to do? Yeah, yeah. There, I'm thinking coming out with another movie. So yeah, I'm and super excited about that. Oh, really? It's the stink wall. <laughs> the stink wall? The stink oh, I wall? love it. Yeah, because Stink actually has his own book, too. Is this yeah, true? he has the Stinks book. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Can you, have you read any of the books, guys? Have you mm -hmm. um, done your research? I didn't read any books before I got the part, but right when I did, I like went straight to Barnes & Noble and got a couple of books and started reading them. They're really I've, good books. I've read them before. Really? Well, I only read them um, once. I auditioned. Of course, because you have to get into character. From, yeah. Um, a girl up the street. Oh, that's Zoe. nice. Very, very cool. cool. And speaking of that, you guys' as friends from home must be so excited to see you in this movie. How is it already kind of changing your life being a part yeah. of a big feature film like this? Uh, um, you just go first. <laughs> okay. Or is your life the same? Is your mom still like, do the dishes, do your laundry? I don't do the dishes. I don't do laundry. I just take out the trash. <laughs> Okay, and that's good. That's cool. But at least people like me at school now. A lot really? better. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's a nice perk. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, what about you? Um, like a lot of kids that I see, like kids on my baseball team, 
um, I tell them, they're like, dude, why are you never here? I mean, what do you have more important than baseball? Oh. And I'm like, I do things. And um, they, they text me and they're like, dude, you're in a movie? That's so crazy. But Oh my yeah. gosh, that is so, so, so exciting. So last question, I'm just curious, what would you tell people out there watching this segment right now? Why should they go see the Judy Moody movie? They should go see it. Like the people who should is like families. And there's two boys here. And this is where the boys should go. Okay. There's a lot of circus freaky fireboard stuff. Ooh, fun. There's a lot cool. of Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of poop. Good there's to a lot know. Of poop. I, I hope no one steps in it. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. But I hope we don't eat it. Um, me yeah, too. that would that, that, that be fun. Bad. That I think people should go see it because, I mean, it's good for all ages of kids and, like, families and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And boys mm -hmm. and girls would like it, too. I mean, it's just a super adventurous, really fun thing to film and watch. Good so I'm really board. excited. Yeah. I'm excited really for excited. you guys. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much for coming in. And for all of you guys out there watching right now, I know the movie doesn't come out until June 10th, right? June 10th, yeah. Even though you have yeah. the big premiere on June mm -hmm. 4th. Yeah, that's going to be so at the Arclight and Cynodome. So. Yeah, right down the street from here. Do you yeah. have your outfits picked out, by the way? I don't. I'm My sure mom's thinking. forming it together, though. So. Okay, I... stylist. Yeah. Good stuff. I just go anywhere. Okay. Clothes. Wear whatever. Well, you look great. You both Odie. look awesome. Cool. So yeah. maybe you can wear these outfits. Odie. Yeah. Yeah. I already have 20 outfits that my mom said no to. Oh. Okay. Well, hopefully you get one to say yes to. I'm yeah. sure that you will. Hopefully. <laughs> and all of you guys out there <laughs> eagerly anticipating the arrival of this movie in theaters on June 10th. Until the movie hits theaters, why not read all the books? Right? Yeah, definitely. Very, I mean, very go cool. check them out. Barnes yeah. and Noble, Borders. Yeah, they're all there. Whoever reading. the bookstore, they will, they will be Judy Moody books. That is right. Yeah. I mean, they're <laughs> awesome books. So yeah. I mean, go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching the show. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you next time right here on Clever TV.